What's happening everybody? Jamie Bond, Fish Blue Water. So the wind is howling. We've got a steady forecast of 25 to 30 mile an hour winds all week, which means no fishing. But it does not mean we can't bring you a video. And so uh, kind of flipping back to a recent uh, trip that we took out with Elliot London from Bait Strips, which was phenomenal. We did some planer fishing, which was something I hadn't done in quite a while. Um, we had a lot of good questions that came up after that video and one in particular was about the wind-on planer system that we were using on the boat when we were fishing that day. So we're going to show you today how to rig up and tips and techniques a wind-on planer system. All right guys, so first let's talk about the parts and pieces that make up this wind-on rig. So you see here in front of me, I have about this two foot section of 130 pound braided line, excuse me, Dacron line. And on each end, I have a ball bearing swivel that's kind of a uh, small profile that will enable us to wind this through the guides of the rod. And we also have, uh, two snap swivels, which are basically called uh, cigar snaps. And all they are is double-ended snap swivels. Uh, one is actually the clasp on one end of each snap swivel is cut off. And we'll talk about why that is here in a minute. And then of course we have our planer, which will vary in size, depending upon how deep you want those baits to fish. This is a good all around standard for planer fishing. Uh, a number four planer with a six ounce lead on the end. So here we go. Next up, we're going to show you how we get the rig started. All right. So first up, we got to make the attachment between our Dacron line um, and the actual braided line on this fishing rod. I've got a bent butt rod here uh, with 65 pound braid, which works great uh, for this style of fishing. This actually also has an electric reel, which makes the job a little easier um, if you so choose. So the braided line is already doubled up. Uh, I've got a Bemini attachment here, which we have another video in our gallery below. If you'd like to see how to tie a Bemini twist double line, check it out in the gallery. But I'm going to take uh, the end of this ball bearing swivel. And I'm just going to do a, a standard fisherman's knot with this. Wrapping back around the double line. About 10 times. Just like to make sure that uh, with that braided line, it's a little more prone to slip than monofilament. So you just want to make sure you avoid that situation. Tie in your knot. Always better as well to pull from the single end of that Bemini double. All right. Cinch down. We're good to go on that end. And you either want a pair of pliers that will work through braid, like these bubble blades I have here, or a sharp knife just to cut off that tag in. So we've got that side and that attachment made. Next thing I'm gonna do, I've got some 60 pound monofilament here, which basically is gonna serve as my leader material for this rig. I'm gonna tie that again with just a standard fisherman's knot. Two, three, four, five, 
six, nothing complicated. Pull tight, like so. There we go. Take my pliers once again. That tag end, just gonna snip it clear. And now, as far as this monofilament leader is concerned, if I was taking building this rig to completion, which I'm not going to um, here today, I'm just gonna demonstrate how it's done, kind of sample purposes. I'd probably wind on about 100 or so feet of this leader material. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna show you how this swivel will roll right through the guides of that rod. You wanna make sure, obviously, that you're using a rod with guides that are large enough to handle that swivel system, okay? And then I would just start to wind that leader material on like so until I get however much that I want for the purposes. Like I said, I'd, I'd say a good, you know, ballpark estimate around 100 feet. For now, I'm just gonna clip it there. And then of course, as far as the rig is concerned, this is where we would attach our bait that we're using in the case of this trip that we made out with Elliot, the bait strip system, uh, your Bonita strips, whatever the case may be, sea witches, that type of stuff, obviously that's going to trail behind uh, the planer while you're fishing. So stand by, I'm gonna get this attached to the other end of the boat so we can show you how you make that planer attachment and you create the wind on system for easy on and easy off with the planer when you're fighting a fish. All right, so we're almost there, guys. The next step, we gotta take these cigar snaps and attach them to our planer. So you can see here, as I showed you before, um, we have a one end of the snap that's completely kind of allows you to clasp it off as you normally would with a snap swivel, and the other end that's cut off to allow that to remain open. So my planer has two ends where I'm gonna make the attachment. The hole on this side is where we're gonna attach one of the cigar snaps and close it. And then this sliding ring, which basically is how you set and deploy that planer, we close that and now we're ready to attach it to the wind on system. All right, so final step. We have the cigar snaps attached to each end. Now we need to take that Dacron section that I have in my hand right here where we created uh, the wind on four. Uh, remember this ring and the lead end is always the front end of the planer, how you're going to pull it. So you're gonna take this open-ended snap, you're gonna connect it to one end of the swivel, and then you're gonna take the other snap you're gonna connect it to the other open end like so. And now this planer is essentially ready to deploy right into the water where we're gonna troll obviously um, at the desired depth to try and target those tuna Wahoo, kingfish, dolphin, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Guys, here's the beauty of this rig. So imagine I've got, you know, an angler on this rod. He's fighting the fish. We're getting close to our leader material here. And the traditional method, somebody would have to actually hand line that fish all the way into the boat because there's no way, obviously, to wind any further, right? And a lot of the commercial king fishermen and stuff will do that, and it's very effective. Um, but for recreational purposes, this is a really, really cool way to go. So all you need to do as you're cranking it in, one of the other crew members on the boat grabs the line, pulls one side out, pulls the other side out, and guess what? You're ready to keep cranking, and you can wind 
this Dacron right through the guides. You can crank and wind the fish basically all the way boat side up to where your final piece of the leader and lure is easily within gaff range of the boat. And it's just that simple. So thanks for asking. Uh, we hope you enjoyed this quick how-to video. And if there's anything else, of course, that you want to know in the tips and techniques department, that is what we're here for. So like, comment, subscribe, tell everybody about it, and we'll see you for the next Fish Blue Water video.